So I stand here today after starting a research lab in Boston, uh, at Harvard University in Boston uh, about 30 years ago. Um, I'm now 85 years old, not true, but uh, I am turning 54 soon. Um, and like most of us, if we just look at today's medicine, someone my age has much fewer days ahead than behind them. And these days ahead do not look very bright for someone in their 50s, and certainly for someone in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. Today, we live in a world where reaching the age of 80 or 90, and certainly 100, is an example of disability and suffering and disease. I'm here to tell you that I have no doubt, based on what I have seen in my lab and in companies now emerging around the planet, that soon, certainly within the next decade, that we will start to see changes in what we can achieve in our lifetimes. So that a 70-year-old will no longer have to worry about heart disease and cancer and dementia. An 80-year-old can look forward to beginning a new life and instead of worrying about the legacy, can think about raising the great grandkids and contributing to society and then even somebody in their 90s can look forward to many decades ahead. That future is a certainty. And the longer I live and the more research that I see and the results that are coming out from not just my group of 20 scientists at Harvard, but around the world, tells us that this change in medicine uh, is coming. It's really no longer an if, it's really a question of when. Now supplementation. I'm asked this question every day. David, what do you take? What should I take? Just give me the pill, that's all I want. I don't want to fast, I don't want to run, I want to just take a pill. So I'm not saying that these pills will replace exercise and fasting, but I can tell you that I believe they work in addition to these health benefits or these lifestyles. NED boosters, I talked about NMN. There are other ones such as NR. There's one that's being studied here in the UAE called NAR. Uh, my brother is working on this compound in collaboration with the UAE. Um, I take a gram, a 1,000 milligrams of NMN every day in the morning. Berberine and metformin are two molecules that either separately or together work to lower blood sugar levels, which as I mentioned is very important for longevity. And so I take 1,000 milligrams of metformin most days of the week. This is a drug that you get from doctors for type 2 diabetes, but it's also increasingly thought to protect against other diseases. So resveratrol and physetin are chemical compounds from plants that are stressed. Resveratrol you find in grapes, physetin is found in uh, other uh, plants that are stressed. And so I take usually between half a gram and one gram of these chemicals as well uh, in the morning. Spermidine is a very interesting molecule. Uh, you can find it in every type of cell, uh, including plants, and you can buy it as a supplement. And it's been shown to extend the lifespan of many different animals, and probably it works by stabilizing the epigenome. Vitamin D3 and K2, these are very important, of course, in places where we avoid the sun or we cannot get enough sunlight. K2 is not very well known. Vitamin K2 will protect your cardiovascular system from calcium deposits and put the calcium into your bones rather than your arteries. And usually those supplements come together in the same pill. So I take that. I make sure my B vitamins are uh, maintained at the right level. I measure them. You don't want too high or too low. And alpha lipoic acid, I did my PhD on this molecule coincidentally, and it is a molecule that is very good for the energy in cells. And finally, the fish oils, those are very important for inflammation. It turns out one of these molecules activates CERT1, and maybe that's why these are good for health. 
So this is the basics of what I do and my father does every day, including try to exercise and don't eat too much. So how old am I? Well, you can measure it. Uh, I've been taking tests for my age for over a decade and every year over the past decade, I've been getting younger uh, according to this test. And actually, it might be right. If you look at my old photos, I think I look older than I do now. Uh, you can be the judge. But you can see in this graph here where I sit is here, the youngest of about 10,000 people that have been measured my age. So I'm telling you science works. If you measure, change, measure, change, you can go back like I did biologically by at least a decade. So I mentioned my father. My father is now 83. This was one of one year in his life before COVID, uh, uh, the pandemic. At 80, he was as active as he was when he was 30 and feels just as fit and healthy. He still has no diseases. He doesn't even wear glasses to drive a car at night. And so my hope is that my father can serve as a shining example of what humanity can achieve, which is that in your 80s, you can begin a new career, you can be productive, you can learn a new instrument, a new language, and look forward to another 30 years of life. Take home message today. Aging truly is reversible. This disease that we all have, we can slow it down and we can even reverse it. And in the future, when this happens, we will wonder why we didn't do it before. Why did we ignore aging until now? So I think uh, hopefully I've inspired you to uh, work on your health and stay alive until the radical new technologies arrive, which is very soon.